We are going to go deeper to, into this topic by learning about projects that are related to the methodology, such as Anthrocomp for, for teachers and project created at AEG Study Center. To talk about this project, we have with us Al Asun Alonso, the European Programs Coordinator. What is Anthrocomp, Asun? Good morning. Well, some years ago, the European Commission identified a sense of initiative and entrepreneurship um, as one of the key needs for citizens and also to create a knowledge-based society. So they set out to identify three main areas, ideas and opportunities, resources, and into action. And within these three main areas, they also identified five uh, further competencies. For instance, for ideas and opportunities, you need to be um, creative, you need uh, a vision, yeah? Uh, especially nowadays, you need a feeling of um, a sustainable thinking and inclusive thinking. For the area of resources, um, we need to enlarge our students' uh, financial and economic literacy, for instance, also to improve perseverance, a culture of effort. And for into action, we need to be able to engage others um, to have uh, social skills and abilities, and again, especially in these times, to learn how to cope with ambiguity, uncertainty, risk-taking, and so forth. What is Anthrocom for teachers? Uh, Anthrocom for teachers starts taking Anthrocom as the base, okay. because um, we, we learn through our teaching experience that not always uh, the requirements of the job market and the world of work are 100% aligned with the teachings uh, that students learn in school. So uh, we set out, we said, why not gather existing tasks and activities and create new ones, new projects, new exercises, new dynamics, so that teachers can introduce this in their everyday teaching and uh, uh, therefore help students become more innovative and uh, developing a better entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is basically, in rough, what we have set out to do. Who takes part in this project? Uh, we have our coordinators from Norway, that's uh, Hoyland, uh, Umdom Scholar, and we also have two Italian partners, an association of teachers and school directors from Bologna called ADI. Um, we also have the biggest VT training school in Italy, Pietro Piazza, based in Palermo, Sicily. We have our partners from uh, Lycée Besson in France, near Paris, and ourselves here in the mm. Basque Country. And how are students involved in the, in the project? We have planned mm. two mobilities. Ideally, eight students from each participating country uh, will come together and they will try out these tasks that we have created and gathered. They will fill out pre-questionnaires, post-activity questionnaires, so that the, the core of the activities can be tried out before we extend that material to other teachers. That's the idea. So hopefully, on a couple of times, groups of eight students will be working mixed by nationality, uh, language level skills, and so on. <clears throat> we wish you the best with your future endeavors, and thank you, Asun, for being here today with us. Thank you.